G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm about to head out to go do a bit of thrifting today possibly and just change up the working environment, head maybe to the library or a coffee shop or something, we'll do that today as well. But I've just had breakfast, feeling pretty good. I'm about to get in the car and start heading down. Maybe check out the Savers today or something, we'll see. All right guys, so I made it into Savers. Let me show you what I've picked up so far. So I'm gonna get this shirt here for myself. I think it's a vintage tee. And then we have some boots here as well. Some women's motorcycle boots for 12 bucks. And also I'm getting this for myself as well. Dick Smith, it's kind of like a USB card reader writer thing. So that'll come in handy. All right guys, I'm gonna get this ASOS cycling jersey made in Switzerland. It's a really good cycling jersey brand. Quality product too, it just feels amazing. So I have this Katmandu hiking bag in here. I want 15 bucks for it, so I'm gonna get this. Probably for personal use for a while. Thank you, Salvos. That's like an $80 bag there. I've been looking for a Katmandu bag for ages, so I'm probably gonna keep this for a bit. Speak until I'm done. Settles in the same specific place. I'd refuse to go. Drink it from a cast and iron blade instead of coal. Alright guys, I just got out of a small little thrift store just over here, the Lion Opportunity Thrift Store. This thrift is a ripper. Always find some really cool stuff. I did pick up a bulk product deal of 20 items. We have 20 of these Cox Plate caps in the blue and in the black. Brand new with tags. And they were a dollar each. And there is about 20 of them here. I got them about four or five bags there. But each hat I don't even know. I could easily, probably easily sell 10 bucks a piece. This is from the 2006 Cox Plate with the Mooney Valley Racing Club. Little tab there in the corner as well. Brand new, all brand new. These could be, I don't know, $50 hats maybe? Or $10 hats. I have to do a lot of research and see. I see like people are trying to sell like really rare Cox Plate hats that are sort of never made anymore for like 100 bucks plus. So we'll see how these go. It's got like the little tats dude Tats Lotto dude on there, but it looks like the Tats Lotto dude. I think that's what it is. I also did pop into the Salvos just over the road here, and I got two items. I got a Paul Smith London button front shirt. These are good shirts, about a $30 shirt, and also some nudie jeans as well. Good old nudie. These are average Joes for 10 bucks. They should be maybe like $60 jeans or something like that. We'll see how those go. All right, guys, so I did pop into a thrift store, which is just across the road here. I picked up two items. I'm going to quickly show you guys what I've got. One of them is to go to Etsy. It's a vintage t-shirt. It's signature series, but the brand is Hard Rock. Brand is Hard Rock. I really like these style of clothing with the little logo sort of on one chest. Um, I looked it up to see if I could find a similar one on Etsy because the tag here has been torn off. And it looks pretty similar to one that's listed for about 45 bucks. And I paid five bucks for that one or 450. And then we also have a super dry hoodie, which is a pretty good brand. It's not the best color. It's a pretty ugly Moroni color, but it's still pretty good. I might even rock this for a bit. That's, you know, a minimum of like 20 bucks, but it could be anywhere up to like 30. So I made it back home. Catching up with Susie girl. I didn't get to go to the post office in time. I just got back then and they closed. And I didn't get any shipments out this morning, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. I've got some sales that I'll share with you guys in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. What I'm gonna do is get inside and start working on all the stuff that I picked up today. Those Cox plate hats, I'm thinking of selling them for about 30 bucks a piece. There's some really rare ones that have sold for like 120 bucks. And and crazy numbers like that. I might just put them up 49. Hey, Trish, I'm vlogging, Sui. I might put them up for like 49.99 each at a best offer. Super high and just see how they go. I haven't done much research, but I just quickly had a look. It's looking like a pretty good score for those. Maybe $600, maybe $500 when it's all said and done. We'll see how it goes though. I gotta get to work and get the rest of this stuff up for sale. Plus I gotta work on my Shopify store and I'm doing other stuff behind the scenes as well.